Hello friends. So this is again a Harvard physics problem and this problem is called rope between the inclines. So problem says so we have a rope that rests on two platforms. So this is one platform and this one is another platform. And this is the rope so which is standing or which is resting on these two platforms which are both inclined at angle theta so this angle is given so this is inclined angle theta and which you are free to pick so this angle is basically you have to find it out so the rope has uniform mass density so mass density is given and this is uniform and its coefficient of friction with the platform is 1 so the coefficient of friction between rope and the surface is given so this surface that is rope and the surface the coefficient of friction is given so let's call mu is equals to 1 so that is given and the system has left and right symmetry this means this system so symmetrical so about this point whatever you have this side is same as this side so left right symmetrical this means this point is the minimum point so this is important point so this is minimum so this is the lowest point so you can say this is the lowest point so we will use this fact that this is the lowest point now what is the largest possible fraction of rope that does not touches the platform so now if you see the rope has two component one component that is resting on this platform and another component that is hanging in the air so we have to find what is the possible fraction for these two situations like what what part will be resting on the platform and what par part will be hanging in the air and what angle theta allows this maximum value so when you have maximum part that is hanging in the air then corresponding for that part what is the value of theta so that you have to find it out so what are the things that is given mu is equals to 1 that is coefficient of friction is given so let us assume m is the total mass of the rope that is given so let us say m is the total mass of rope and also assume this portion f that is hanging in the air so f is the portion of rope that is hanging in the air so this portion is hanging in the air now how will you solve this problem so to solve this problem you have to first consider the part that is resting on the platform and the part that is hanging in the air and then you have to basically draw the free body diagram write equations of motion so let us first consider the part that is hanging in the air so you have something like this so this is your the lowest point and then here you have and then you have this part that is hanging in the air so I am only making half portion so this is only half portion this angle is given this angle is theta this angle is theta and this is the portion that is hanging in the air now as I said earlier this point is the lowest point so there will be one force that will be acting in this direction and that is tension let's call this tension as T1 and there will be another force that is coming from the rope that is here I also have a rope so that portion of rope is basically trying to pull this rope in this direction so you have a force that is acting in this direction on this rope this is basically uh, very close to the incline so you can also show something like this so this is the force so let's call this force as T 
so if i write equilibrium of this portion so we can consider weight so the weight will be acting in the downward direction so weight is like this so what will be the weight so mg and what is mass of this portion so total mass is m and f portion is in the air so f times mz but this is only half of the f so f by 2 i can say only half portion is this so f by 2 times mz so this is the weight of this rope now this weight of rope is balanced by this force so t has two component as one, one vertical component and another is horizontal component so this component and you will have this component now this angle is theta so this angle is also theta so this force will be t sin theta so this side so i can say this is balanced by t sin theta so vertical force here this force is basically t sin theta so t sin theta is balanced by the weight so from here i can write t is equals to f m z divided by 2 sin theta so this is my equation 1 so we have considered the inclined portion now let us consider uh, basically the rope we have considered the rope that is hanging now let us consider rope that is resting on the platform so i'm only making the half of the portion because this is left right symmetrical so here i have this rope that is a standing so this rope this portion of the rope is here so some portion of the rope is basically so let us say this portion of rope is here now let us consider equilibrium of this portion so what are the forces that is acting on this rope so basically the other portion will be try to pull this side and this force will be same as tension so this will be t so the tension is acting what other forces are acting on this so weight and the weight will be so f fraction in the air so 1 minus f is on the incline and the total force is mz but this is half of the rope only so 1 minus f mg by 2 here you will have normal reaction that is acting and then you will have a friction force that is acting in the upward direction because this rope has a tendency to slide in the downward direction and the friction force will be mu times n now we can take component of this weight along this direction and along this direction so you can say this force will be 1 minus f mg divided by 2 and this multiplied by so this angle is theta so this angle will also be theta so this multiplied by cos theta so we can write this force is 1 minus f mz and this by 2 times cos theta similarly in this direction the force will be the component of this force will be simply same thing with sine theta so this will be 1 minus f mg and this divided by 2 times sine theta so now we can consider equilibrium of this part and so we consider equilibrium along the incline so along the incline what are the forces that is acting so along the incline we can say in the downward direction force is t and other force that we have 1 minus f by 2 and this is mg sine theta so this is acting in the downward direction and which is equals to the upward direction mu times n and n we know so n is nothing but if i consider equilibrium in this direction so n is simply equals to this force so we can write t plus 1 minus f by 2 mg sin theta is equals to and mu is given in the problem mu is equals to 1 so we can plug that value 1 into n and n is nothing but 1 minus f by 2 mg cos theta so this is my equation 2 so now we have two unknown and we can solve this 
so from 1 we can plug this value in 2 so from 1 we can say we can eliminate tension from 1 put t in equation 2 so if I plug this value what we will have so we know that t t is nothing but f m z by 2 sin theta and plus 1 minus f by 2 m g sin theta and this is equals to 1 minus f by 2 m g cos theta. So if you cancel m g by 2 everywhere you have m g by 2 so you have m z by 2 m z by 2 and again m g by 2. So if you cancel m g by 2 then you will have f y sin theta plus 1 minus f sin theta and this is equals to 1 minus f cos theta. f y sin theta is equals to 1 minus f cos theta and this term goes this side so minus 1 minus f sin theta. Now I can take 1 minus f common so this becomes f y sin theta and here this is little bit tricky so 1 minus f and this becomes cos theta minus sin theta or I can write f is equals to 1 minus f and this cos sin theta cos theta minus sin square theta. So let us assume this term so this term let us call this term as f theta so big f theta so this is a function of theta so we can write f is equals to 1 minus f f theta and then you can further rearrange and then you can find what t is a small f in terms of f theta so you can also write uh, f is equals to f theta minus f times f theta and then you can take f this side so this becomes 1 plus f theta is equals to f theta so this gives you f is equals to f theta and divided by 1 plus f theta where f theta is what f theta is nothing but sin theta cos theta minus sin square theta now what we have to find we have to find maximum fraction that is hanging in the air so this means we have to maximize f so we have to maximize f and how will you do that so we can maximize f and f is a function of f theta so we can find how this f is changing with respect to theta so basically we have to find df by d theta and then equate it to 0. So let's do that. So we can write df by d theta and this is equals to so let's first keep the denominator as it is and differentiate the numerator so this becomes f dash theta minus keep the numerator as it is and differentiate the denominator so this becomes 1 differentiation of 1 is 0 and f dash theta and then 1 plus f theta whole square and this is equals to 0 for maximum f so this means 1 plus f theta times f dash theta minus f theta so this is f theta times f dash theta is equals to 0 basically there is one more uh, bracket so this is here and then this is something like this so we have to equate this equals to 0 so what will we will have so if you simplify further f one term cancels out so you will have f dash theta is equals to 0 because one term gets cancels out so f theta is what we have written f theta is nothing but cos theta sin theta 
minus sin square theta. So df theta by d theta that is basically f dash theta this is equals to 0 so if you do that so let's say cos theta and if you difference sin theta so this becomes cos theta and then plus leave sin theta differentiate cos theta and then this term will be minus 2 sin theta cos theta and this is equals to 0 so from here we can write cos 2 theta so this is cos square theta and this is minus sin square theta that is cos 2 theta minus sin 2 theta is equals to 0 this means tan 2 theta is equals to 1 this means 2 theta is equals to 45 degree and then theta is equals to 22.5 degree so when angle of inclination, inclination is 22.5 degree we will have maximum portion that is hanging in the air but what will the length of that portion so we can find that using that expression that we have earlier derived so expression for fraction was f is equals to f theta and this divided by 1 plus f theta so let us first find value of f theta and f theta is nothing but cos theta sin theta minus sin square theta which is basically 1 by 2 and then this becomes sin 2 theta so this is sin 2 theta and this will become 2 sin square theta which is 1 minus cos 2 theta so this is 1 minus cos 2 theta I can further rewrite so this will be 1 by 2 sin 2 theta and this minus minus plus so cos 2 theta and then minus so from here if you plug so theta maximum is how much this is 22.5 degree so if you plug this value here you can have f theta value that is f theta corresponding to theta max so 1 by 2 and sin 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 45 1 by root 2 minus 1 so this will be f theta max it's simply 1 by 2 and this will be root 2 minus 1 now if i know f theta i can find maximum fraction that is hanging in the air so f theta will be 1 by 2 root 2 minus 1 and this divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 root 2 minus 1 so if you simplify this we will have this will be root 2 minus root 2 plus 1 and which is approximately equals to 0 0.172 so this is the fraction that is hanging in the air so only 17 percent of the rope that can hang in the air and the rest of the portion will be on the surface on the uh, platform if you can increase the friction coefficient in that case you can hang even more fraction in the air because the friction force is responsible for portion of the rope that is hanging in the air so i hope you like this video and if you like then please like and subscribe to this video and i will see you in the next video thank you